Hey, the power of the Sinais, welcome to another Gran Turismo 3 Let's Play video. I'm just gonna go ahead and get right on into this. Um, do be sure to watch the video, burn up the like button, be sure to the subscribe button, speed through that notification bell, leave a good comment down below, comment to the Sinais, check out the YouTube videos, I have playlists, check out Blue Five Vossi, and Sucks Central, they use my site description as always. If you guys are new to the channel, share them sit, helps a lot, I always appreciate the support and feedback. So, here we are at Trial Mountain. Um, I probably could have qualified because of that Viper, um, because he's kind of a pain here. When I mean that, I mean I don't remember if he pits here or not. Um, that very well could be a problem. And I did not save, so if I lose a race, or if I win this race, I can save after I'm done. But if I lose this race, I have to start all the way to the beginning again. That will not be fun. But I think he does pick. I think this is one race that he does. Corvette pits on lap 3, guaranteed that Viper will pit. This is very much one race that I could have qualified for. Yeet! <laughs> I used the GTR as a barrier. This is where the perks of a race car would have came in play. So like I said, if that Viper does not pit, I have absolutely no chance of winning this thing. If he does, then we got a decent chance. That GTR just seriously break. Wow. Yeah, because me and this GTR, we're getting smothered right now. What did I say about the difficulty being very much harder in the second half? Yeah. I'm gonna have to pray for that Corvette to pit on lap 3. If he does not, then we are going to lose this race. So I'm pretty sure that Viper pits. Now we can save, so if we lose a race, we'll go back to our last save spot. Point. Here's to hoping Corvette pits. Pretty much probably going to be duking it out with this guy right here, GTR. I cannot lose trace with this GTR. I have to be like, literally next to him. I don't remember if he pits here. Gotta run on the back on the GTR, got a slipstream. See, the Corvette is already struggling. So maybe he will be pitting. I'm not using mediums for this. I will use him for qualifying sessions. Six point two. Yeah, this Corvette's gonna pit. So me and the GTR will take his spot. Now it'll become a battle for second. I think the Viper pits here. Oh, keep it stable. This is a very dangerous section to get like that. I'm gonna have the GTR racing me for the final lap, so. Play 
please, I am praying to God that that Viper pit. If he does, I have the lead. But if he does not, then me and this GTR are going to fail. And it won't be a battle between me and him. This is actually, I think, the, one of the closest races we've had together. I do see him, so I'm thinking he is going to pit. Whew. I think the next race is going to be our first qualifying race. Oh yeah, he's pinning. There's no way I gain a second and a half on him that easy. Oh boy. Oh, and the GTR is pitting. Okay, so we've won. <laughs> Depends on who's second. NSX. And I'm failing. <laughs> so I think there's going to be another back-to-back -back races for the NSX. For a second place finish. So kudos to him. Uh, he has to finish second, but he's got a decent gap over third, so... Or save for this round. <laughs> I mean round, I mean race. Sometimes in championships, they call them round. The way they call races, rounds. This is round six. And as usual, I will be cutting out the qualifying sessions. I think Seattle, which I think is the upcoming race, I'm going to use mediums for, because the Viper is very good there. I will qualify. Amazing how much this track has changed from three to two, two to three. What a new personal best lap. I won by six and a half seconds. Over the NSX. And there you go. Race six complete. Got a very, very handy lead. And we're back over 800,000. All right. I